Hey guys, welcome to another video on Command & Conquer Rivals. You know that period of time when you're playing this game with NOT or GDI and you're just not, you're just not winning. You're looking for a combination and you haven't found it. Well, here might be an interesting combination for you. It evolves around the Widowmaker and the Basilisk. The Basilisk is a badass aircraft unit available from level 52 with a two tile range which just devastates anything that's not flying. I mean, you gotta love it. If you love the Doom Cannon, you're gonna love the Basilisk, okay? And the Widowmaker, why is the combination so strong? Because the Widowmaker, it fries infantry and aircraft and buildings, all right? So the combination of Widowmakers and Basilisk it's end game combination. It's not a rush strategy because you won't have the income yet. It's just so awesome to play, guys. So you really, really, really have to try it. Okay, but do it with the combination of Oxan, Laser Squad, Flame Troopers, Attack Bikes, and Banshees. What's very important, guys, for this strategy with this unit setup is that you play aggressively at the start of the game. So scout the map. And use infantry to scout the map. You can start either with flame troopers or a laser squad and just make sure that you are not the one being rushed by anything. Okay, that's why you have the combination of a laser squad for not attack bikes or even buggies, units like that, or a tank. Sometimes you get rushed by a tank. You can handle those with your laser troopers. And if you get rushed by uh, jump jet troopers or uh, a rocket squad or laser squad, you can use your flame troopers to kill them. And early game is kind of important. If you're not being rushed, that means you will have the rush opportunity or the push opportunity and try to go for a harvester. This guy here made a big mistake because he sent out his second harvester instead of taking care of my laser squad and that's the kind of price he's going to pay because that will help me boost get my basilisk and my widow maker out more quickly because as you can see i choose to go for one harvester and why is that well it helps me build my units faster and i don't need extra income if i got his first harvester so here you see my unit in action the basilisk is just eating away his harvester and it feels so good and you already know, okay, he's going to come at me with uh, a rocket, a squad of Rocketeers. And that's why you put your Widowmaker in place. And how you start to divide and conquer the map, guys. That's how it works. So keep moving. And he got the first missile. I don't care because I am in control. I am not losing this game. And then, of course, the Iron Cannon. Okay, that Iron Cannon is so bloody annoying. But well, it looks like we're still ahead. We got both platforms. We got a Widowmaker at each point. So infantry and air units, they're in trouble. And here I'm just going to push for his harvester and put the Oxana speed buff on that Basilisk, which make it, makes it so strong. And look at those zone troopers that are coming. I mean, the Basilisk, can, they won't be able to kill the zone troopers alone. But with the Widowmaker, you're just fine. And here at the bottom, I'm going to lose the tiles, but that's fine, the platform. So it's going to be 1-1 one, one at this point. And he's going to realize that, well, it's going to be very, very hard for him. And look, I mean, just look at how fast I'm eating away his units with that Basilisk. It's just so it feels so good to play that combination yeah zone troopers widow makers widow makers win every time especially with the oxan buff so guys please give this build a try if you haven't done it if your basilisk is a low level it doesn't matter it still does a ton of damage i've played around with level 5 basilisk and i've been winning games so just give it a try and let me, down, let me know down in the comments down below how you enjoyed this build, if you have any questions regarding to this build or anything at all. 
Let me know. And if you like this video, please press the thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.